another Catch Cam Nets video. Um, I'm Jonathan Hardman from Hardman Fishing Adventures, and today we're going to be fishing for wild rainbows. I've been partnered with Catch Cam for about a year now, and I love their nets. Um, I like that they have uh, the rubber coated, the basket is, so it's easy to catch and release the fish. You don't hurt any of the slime coating on the fish or anything like that, so the fish are more healthy when you release them. They're metal, so you literally can't break them, and if you do, I would love to know what you're doing with your nets. And the coolest thing of all, or the coolest feature of all is the fact that you can attach a GoPro to the net. So you can get some really cool release shots. You can get the shots of the fish being netted and stuff like that. So that's really awesome. And obviously they look awesome. This is a native series net. So I guess it's technically for native brookies, but I'm not fishing for native brookies right now. I just like the size of it. It's nice for when I'm fishing for wild rainbows and other fish that just aren't that big. I also have a pig series net for brown trout, but that's not what we're doing today. The weather is not ideal for that. So anyway, we're going to see if we can catch some trout and get some cool shots with the catch cam net and the GoPro. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys. So what we're going to be using today is a double nymph rig, but instead of an indicator, we have a big terrestrial on. It's a grasshopper and it's a little caught up, but don't worry about that right now. We'll fix that before we fish it. Um, the top nymph. We have a flashback hare's ear, or flashback pheasant tail, I'm sorry. It's probably size 12 maybe, it looks like. And then we have a huge nymph because <laughs> <laughs> the water is pretty high right now and the current is swift and we have to get down to where the fish are at. So you have this big nymph. It is a custom nymph. I shouldn't say custom, handmade nymph from Andrew, who's actually filming right now. And he put like at least 30 pounds of weight on this thing. <laughs> and it sounds like a lead weight when it hits the water, but it catches fish. So that's what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna get after it and slay out. So much easier if you stand down lower, so it's easier to drift down the back end of the hole. <laughs> I told you you're gonna lose more than you can. Oh, you got one. Is gonna be all just confused by what just happened? Did, just, did that just drop in the water and the fish hit? Yeah. Maybe if I can grab it. That was actually really wild because I hooked one, lost it, the nymph hit the water, and then another one came and ate the nymph in the water. Like, when it sunk. There it is though, guys. Beautiful fish. Here, I'll hold that fish. <laughs> Caught it. Alright. Alright guys, I'm going for the relief. <clears throat> well, I don't really know what you're supposed to do there.
Well, that's a pretty good one, isn't it? I call it huge one, bigger than that. I turned it on already. Fish guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's really nice. It's gonna pop That's off. The current is here and I keep getting on the other side of the current. Watch well, it end up just popping off right here at the end. There we go. Come on. Oh. I just wanted to get. Oh, I thought it popped off right there. <laughs> I think it's on the dry, to be honest. Is it on the dry? Did it eat the dry? Because it was underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the dry was six feet underwater. That's not a bad one. That's a nice fish right there, boys. Ooh wee. I told I saw one that was bigger than this, like 20 something. I told you that you wouldn't have to But I literally did you see me? I gave up. Like I was like the the dry's just stinking. And then I pulled up and it ate the dry underwater. <laughs> Pretty young, big pop off. No. All right, guys. So I caught it on a dry fly underneath the water, which is super talented. It's hard to do that. So. Um, yeah, there's no way you're holding onto that. Thing. No, just just get a close up of the fish real quick before I release it. So. It's not the prettiest fish I ever caught, but pretty good one. It's a nice fish. So. Get the release for catch cam. If I can hold it up. Bye, friend. This is almost guaranteed. Oh well, we got it. Well, the next one is gone actually. <clears throat> I got here is you not? There it is. Beautiful fish. Trout right here. Get him underwater. All night. <laughs> All right, so that was a video. Um, caught a bunch of wild rainbows, and I caught that one bigger rainbow that could have been a stock trout, or almost certainly was a stock trout. Um, I'm not sure how that fish got in there, but it's not out of the question. They stock trout seemingly everywhere now, so 
it's totally possible that stock trout move up and kind of mix in a little bit with the wild trout populations. But um, please like, comment, and subscribe for future Catch Cam Net videos. And go check the link in the bio to uh, go check out the nets. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.